Growing up, I was around music every day, kind of all day. My parents were both musicians. I grew up going to the studio with my dad and sleeping right under the console that looked just like this. And it's definitely influenced and impacted my career to this day. I knew I was gonna be making music for a long time or a big piece of my life. I didn't know it was gonna be a career. I knew I was gonna always love music and I was always gonna play piano and probably write, maybe just for therapeutic reasons, but after college, I started really considering it as a career. Uh, my first professional production was an artist on Motown called Impromptu. I did a remix, I got $2,500 I think from an A&R guy and I thought that was the greatest thing ever. And then my first big career break was a couple years after that I wrote and produced or wrote and co-produced a song for Brandy's album uh, and that changed the course of my career. As a producer your job is to ensure that the, the artist gives their best performance. So the mindset is what can I bring to the session not what are they going to bring what can I bring to the session that heightens the, the quality of what we make, that makes that artist or that singer or that performer do something they've never done or at least something that's better than what they've done before. Every time I'm making a piece of music, I'm trying to find what's the emotion. Then you have to figure out how to relate that to the listener. And that's my job as a producer when I'm working with artists is to really, really articulate that in every song. And finally, how do you get them and push them to deliver it in an authentic and really relevant way so that a listener can hear it and it hits them on multiple levels. They believe it, they feel it. That's the process that's all happening split second when I sit down and I hear a song and I'm writing it and then trying to get an artist to perform it. Walking into a room, every producer should have an energy and a positivity and a focus towards quality. And I think for me, when I come into a studio, and I can't speak for other producers, but my objective is, of course, to have a great time. So the energy is a huge factor. Secondarily, having the right focus and having the right goal and vision for what you're doing. To me, again, this is my personal opinion, the goal of the producer is to make the artist sound better than they ever have and make, make them their best song, make them their biggest hit. Have the executive from the label calling you saying, we love it. It's our single, it's the best song we've heard on that artist. So that's what I try and walk into a room with, that mindset and that energy of just positivity and, and a high bar of quality. I think with the evolution of technology and software and drag and drop music making and now artificial intelligence music making, producers' roles are gonna change. Uh, I think uh, we'll see where it goes, but I'm excited. I think the, the music business and the the job of a producer and the craft of making music has never been more important and more relevant than it is now with all the content and music that is kind of flooding our ecosystem of, of people who are consuming music. This job is unlike many others that you get that interaction with so many different artists and so many different creative people, musicians and A&Rs and executives that as a producer, when you wake up, it's just you couldn't predict what's going to go on that day in the studio. And I love that about this job. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.